Um, hello. I am here to uh, show you how to make a not nerf, just a fun thing you can do. Um, you're gonna need a 35 millimeter film canister, um, a spring from I don't know, just a spring. Mine is a uh, about two and a half of these film canisters. Um, it's about two and a half of those tall. So uh, you get good compression. You can use like a recon spring. I actually think that's what this is. Pretty actually, I think yeah. Pretty sure this is a recon spring. Nerf recon for those of you who don't know. A small metal bar, just uh, about a fourth of an inch thick, has to withstand some pretty good pressure. A big coin of some sort. I'm using um a big peso coin. Can I see how many this is? This is a uh, 10 pesos. This is a 10 peso coin. You need about 4 inches of uh, some sort of bar. A hollow tube, like brass. Or I'm using stainless steel because I don't have brass. Yeah. Um, and you need your package. Which, in my case, is a bunch of cut up foam backer wire. Um, you can use BBs copper BBs, whatever, just as long as it can fly, and a Phillips head screwdriver. So, first thing, clear the table, first thing you're going to do, get your film canister and and poke a few holes in the bottom, let's see if it works, so um, you get that, so just widen it out, make sure your tube can fit in it, and it can, so it can fit so make sure your tube can easily fit in. Doesn't have to be easily, but has to be able to uh has to be able to slide in. And make sure um, I'm using about almost four inches. Make sure that there's still plenty of space on the bottom, about an inch, and there has to be some at the top. So uh yeah. Because this is going to uh Crash. Oh, by the way, you need um you need the lid. You need the lid for the film canister. Uh, I don't have it here. Well, apparently, whatever. Um, so then you're gonna cut two big holes in the side. So it has to be able to fit your metal bar. And your metal bar should be able to uh come like that, so it can be all the way in. Now. My first one wasn't right, so yeah, get it about halfway in there. Yeah. So now I'm gonna show you how to load it. Come on. All right. So I got a cap. Cap for a 35 millimeter fil film canister. So what you're first gonna do is get your spring, right? Just an inch. Yeah. Right. Get your spring. And put it in there. You don't have to glue it. Uh, whatever. And you get your coin. Your, uh, coin. And then you take, put it on top of the spring. Make sure it's, uh, like flush with the spring. So the spring can't go around it. And make sure it can still fit in the film canister. So push it down. Push it inside the canister. All the way down. And then get your small metal bar and push it through like that. God. This is hard. It is quite hard to do. But it's I honestly think it's worth it. Because of this thing. So there, got your spring inside there, compressed, with the coin on top of the spring, and with the bar keeping the spring from falling out. Then you get your charge, which in my case is foam backer rod, cut up foam backer rod. Then you uh, just kind of push it in, 
shove it in there. Like that. And get your cap. Put it on. So this is what it looks like. I'm using a clear canister. You, yeah. So that's what it looks like. And uh, then your bar. You need to put it in the hole. Like that. So basically, that's what your grenade looks like. When you're ready to fire it, all you need to do is pull out this pin, like that, and then you need to sort of push this up a bit, just a tiny bit, and yeah. So, um, yeah. You can go door, clear here. drop it like that so um this thing has to hit the ground and that pushes the cap off sending your charge up into the air you can use bb's whatever for charge so this is how you this is how you do it you uh pull that pin out so uh, the spring is decompressing then you push that in a tiny bit, push it all the way in so it touches the corner, no further though. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna get it going here. Um, there. Don't know if you saw that, but I'm gonna get it in my view. There's a foam backer rod all over the floor. And uh, I went 